Selling name brand products on Amazon completely changed my life when I sold over a million dollars in just my first year. What I thought was just a simple side also turned into a full-fledged business, and now I've sold almost $5 million on Amazon. But 99% of beginner Amazon sellers struggle to get big brands and categories ungated to sell on Amazon. What most beginners don't know is that in 2024, there's lots of brands that are auto ungated that'll automatically approve you with no invoices needed. And in this video, I'm gonna do some live product research for small brands that are auto ungated that even if you're a new seller with no sales history, you can get started selling this week. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25 year old seven figure Amazon seller on a mission to help as many of you guys as possible build a business or side hustle of your dreams this year. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started selling auto on gate brands this week, as well as if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a big list of auto on gate products as well. So you can get a hundred plus approved of them this week. Let's get right into the video. So we're here inside my screen, starting out with a Pampered Chef product. Pampered Chef's a fairly small brand. It worked for auto and gating. I had a few people check it prior to this video that it worked for them too. It's really important to note that not every product that's auto and gated for some people is going to be auto and gated for everyone. However, over time, the more you sell, the more listings become auto and gated as well. And something to understand is that Amazon wants to avoid fakes being sold on their platform. And that's why for a lot of like the biggest, biggest brands like Adidas, Lego, Under Armour, you are going to have to provide invoices to sell that. Luckily, that is easy to get in 2024. Just check out my full ungating tour for that. However, lots of small brands like Pampered Chef, for example, are going to be auto on gate for most people. We can see this listing is currently buy boxing on Amazon at $22.50. We can see 50 plus bought in the past month as well. However, if we scroll down here and take a look at the keep it chart guys and take a look at the three months, we can see the buy box is actually going a lot higher. It's pretty consistently going in like the 25 range and even as high as like 26 as of late here. So if I were to source this, I would definitely go ahead and price it where the buy box is actually going on the higher end, closer to about 25 bucks right here. Now we can see on Selleramp, that gives us a max cost of about $14 in order to be profitable. Over on the Pampered Chef website, it's going for about $13.50. What I like about auto one gate products, especially for beginners, is that they don't come from tons of different places. If you want to source Puma, for example, that's going to come from tons of different websites. However, if we go ahead and plug this in on Google here, we can see it looks like Pampered Chef stuff is pretty much exclusively carried on the Pampered Chef website. So that's basically what we're going to be doing in this video, guys, is using what's called the storefront stalking method. Starting out with an example of a profitable auto one gate product that we can see for a while has been profitable where that buy box share is going. If we take a look at the year long on Keeple, we also have big pockets of profit as well here. And now we know what a profitable auto one gate product looks like. We can see it as a good BSR, good sales rank under 150,000, right? Plugging that in 1350 buy cost after shipping fees, product cost, everything about $5 profit. Basic criteria. If you're a beginner seller, stay below 150,000 sales rank. $3 plus profit per unit, 30% plus ROI for the most part, a little bit higher for shoes, a little bit lower for like grocery products and stuff like that. However, when you're a beginner, take what you can get. Obviously, I don't think it makes sense to buy a product you see in a YouTube video. However, you can use this and the other auto on gate brands we're going to come across in this video to find more winning products using the storefront stocking method from here. Because I figure if these sellers are carrying an auto on gate product here, they're probably carrying other auto on gate products as well. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to scroll down here on Selleramp and take a look. And now we can see all the different sellers that are carrying this product, their stock count, their price point, et cetera. We can see there's a couple of FBM sellers hanging out here lower than the FBA sellers hanging out where the buy box is actually going, corresponding on Keepa. Then all we're going to do is open up these seller storefronts, and now we're going to be able to see all the different brands they carry, all the different categories they carry, et cetera, and we're going to find other winning products we potentially want to source from here as well. Right. So now, we can open up all these seller storefronts and see a ton of examples of other types of brands we might want to potentially go ahead and sell. So we can find some sellers that got like a bunch of different stuff in here. Like for example, Bomba socks is typically an auto one gate for a lot of people as well here. So we can see like, I'm not super familiar with this Norwex brand, for example, right here, it's got 85 sellers. Looks like the price is going down, for example, here. So definitely want to avoid something like that. But either way, as we're going here, so we can see, now we can see all the different fast selling listings these sellers are carrying. We can see this listing, for example, is Meta. That's probably not going to be an auto one gate. We can see Nintendo here, not going to be an auto one gate as well. Not super familiar with this brand here. We can plug it in on Google though, see if we can find it profitable. And I'm just vetting all these listings by taking a look at the BSR as well. Right there, let's see, Fairtails. Okay, so we need to pay about two bucks right here. We can see 
we can pick it up for 11 on Vita costs and share. We could coupon that a little bit, but that's definitely not going to be good there. Let's see. Let's keep it moving down here. Let's see what we got. So we can see uh, this fishing rod here. Let's see. What's the going rate on this one here? We can see. Yeah, Amazon's on it at 10 bucks right here, even though the buy box is, or this seller is selling it for 30 So we're definitely going to pass on that. Let's see. 65 right here. Let's go ahead and plug this in see what we can do here. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So what was our, uh, so this is going for about 100 Right, so we need to get these pretty discounted here. Let's see if there's any sort of big coupon here. Let's see. So pick it up, subscribe, and save for... Oh, okay. We got another coupon here. Let's see. So we can take off... Yeah, let's see. 20% here. That's still going to put us about 100 buy cost right on these, which is definitely not good. Right there. Let's see. This uh, this Focus Seltzer. Let's see. There's only two sellers on this thing. Max cost is 7 bucks because obviously it's super heavy because it's a big drink thing. Pick it up for 24, so definitely going to pass on that. And all I'm doing here, guys, is just getting in a rhythm of looking through these seller storefronts, seeing what they have that's selling quick, and then we're just going ahead and taking a look and see if we can track down the stuff profitably. And such, so let's see. So we want this at 23. Right here, and as your storefront stock, and you start to you know get a vibe for different sellers, what they're carrying and stuff like that. So let's see. So this is Nylon. Didn't even see anything that uh, matched that branding in this Google search here. And that's the name of the game with online arbitrage, guys. Just rock and rolling through different listings, seeing what you can track down profitably. So this vegetable peel, that was what we actually had originally found here. Let's see. ColourPop, two bucks right here. Let's see. So yeah, this is 18 right here. So that looks like a single right there. So we're going to pass on that. Let's see these rescue pads right here. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Is this a two pack right here? Oh, it is a two bag. Okay. So let's see. So six bucks right here. So let's open this up. We're actually going to be pretty close on this. Let's see. 3% cash back. Let's see. So we're here at six bucks right here. Let's see. Right. Yeah. So something like this, like, sure, this is actually fairly close to being profitable. Right. If this was selling a little bit higher, the problem is I don't see much activity on this Kiba chart. So I am going to pass on something like this. So we can see it didn't seem like we found much in that seller storefront. Let's see. This moisturizer here. Let's see. Two bucks. Right there, Avon, yeah, eight, so that's definitely not going to work. Right there, let's see, four box right here, Pamper Chef can opener. Rare, so we're here at 30, right? We can see this ever been profitable here. Let's see, 30 bucks right here. Let's see, so yeah, currently buy boxing at 35, so that definitely doesn't work here. Let's see, has this been higher? Oh, yeah, so we can see even recently, this is buy boxed at 54. Right, so if we go ahead and plug that in, 54. Yeah, we can pay 29.50 there. So this actually has profitable history fairly recently. And we can see this has a ton of profitable history last year as well. So this is the kind of thing I would definitely pass on. For example, but what I am definitely going to want to do on a listing like this is actually add this to an almost good spreadsheet on Selleram to come back and take a look at in the future. What I'm also going to do on that is I'm going to set a Keepa tracking alert right here and have it notify me when this buy box touches, you know, 50 bucks, for example, again, so I can track and see if that's been consistently over time there to go ahead and take a look at that as well. And now that we found another Prof Auto One Gate product, let's go ahead and open up some more storefronts here. Obviously, this last product we just took out would be a pass currently. However, looking at that sales history, it does look like we'd be able to find some profit on that in the future, just thinking historically at that buy cost rate. So let's see. So we know Pampered Chef's and Auto One Gate here. Let's check a look at some of those other small brands. For example, here. Okay, so let's see. We already took a look at that right here. And took a look at that right here. Let's see. Uh, Milwaukee, I don't think. Obviously, Nike won't be. Puma won't be. Let's see. Crayola won't be an auto one gate, unfortunately. Let's see. Alex Toys, 23, for example, right here on Walmart. Yeah, pretty expensive, 34. I don't know if that's a small brand. Let's see. Blanco, kind of have a feeling that wouldn't be an auto one gate, just looking at how nice the, uh, the branding is, honestly. Let's see. 21. Yeah, not going to worry about that. Let's see. Nerf won't be an auto one gate. Kurt. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think the seller has many auto one gates here. Let's see. My Protein. Dicky should be an auto one gate. Okay, I would assume. I think that comes primarily from Walmart. Let's see. Max cost right here. Aha. Okay, here we go. Okay, interesting. So this should be profitable here. Let's see, y'all. Right here, let's see. And then obviously, like, like I said, not every brand is an auto one gate for every seller. So this may or may not be an auto one gate for you. I think this is an auto one gate for me, though. Let's see. 10.8 right here. So our max cost is 12.8. So if we go ahead and plug this guy in. Let's see. Is that the same thing? Got the branding right there. Just the black on the bottom here. Let's see, got the gray on the bottom there. Let's see. Yeah, because that uh, right here, we can see. Let's see. Flex for best fit. Ah, okay, work pair. So this is a five pair here. Let's see. Ah, this is a six pack. Interesting. Okay, so this doesn't work because this is a different product here. 
Let's actually go ahead and see if they have this listing on Amazon though here. Let's see. Let's see, genuine Dickies six pack here. Yeah, it's interesting that the five pack actually works, but the six pack doesn't. Let's see. This listing looks good with uh, 200 bot last 30 days. Let's see. This is called leaf sourcing where you source on Amazon too. Check out what this guy's going for. Let's see. So this is 22.98 here. Let's see what we got. So it's, yeah, 10.98 on Walmart here. So for example, this actually is pretty close to being good. Let's see. Aha. Yeah. So this actually is profitable here at 25. Yeah. You're making like three bucks a piece here. It's a little bit lower ROI, but socks are socks. People don't really return them. For example, so this is the kind of thing where this is a price tanked product where we can see that the competition went way up and naturally the price went way down unfortunately so we would want to avoid this however there's definitely going to be opportunity to source this in the future if you set this to an almost good spreadsheet and set the keep a tracking alert on that product and it's another example of a most likely especially for new sellers auto one gate to go ahead and source off of and storefront stock to find more listings here let's see square d my protein that looks pretty cheap there i don't know if we're gonna be able to pay two bucks for this yeah okay definitely not all right let's see my protein 15 bucks right here yeah we'd have to get oh okay clear isolated let's see this is 1.1 pound let's see 1.1 pound okay interesting so now we just got a coupon this this is close not sure if this will be auto on gate here but let's see 20 bucks right here let's go ahead and see what types of coupons can we get oh buy one get one free interesting okay let's see this is a uh what flavor we got here so this is strawberry right here let's see so yeah i i don't know the specific deals on uh on this here but um, you know, if there's any way to get this thing down to 15 or so, this becomes a decent supplement product right there too and such um, as well. So we can see fairly close on something like that. Let's see, 19 right here. Let's see. Let's see, 25 right here. So we can see subscribe and save. A small brand like this is probably auto as well. Let's see, daily fiber here. Packaging is definitely different though. So something like this, we would definitely want to check the sizing on this let's see at yeah, 12.7 so this is different here unfortunately let's go ahead and plug this in see if we can find the right thing on google here let's see yeah these packagings looking different unfortunately however this guy yeah no cool all right sweet so unfortunately that's not good and obviously we don't know if all these sellers are doing you know this exact same business model and such but in general if they're coming from that first item it's going to be fairly close we can see pricing not good on this guy either Let's see, three freeze it, 15 bucks right here, for example. Let's see, Rite Aid. Ah, okay, interesting. So this actually would be, yeah, this would totally be profitable here. Let's see, this is a small brand, so it's probably an auto one gate as well. We can see it's just out of stock here. So this is something I would add to an out of stock spreadsheet in Celeramp, but at $3.79, right? So 3.8 times three here, because we can do math in Celeramp. This becomes fairly close right here. So 3.8 times three here. We can see it pretty nice and profitable there. Problem is it's out of stock and we would also definitely want to make sure that's the right thing. I'm not fully sure that it is. We'd want to investigate that a little bit further. And such, I'm gonna keep storefront stocking and let you guys know when I find another profitable auto on gate product. All right, so I opened up another one of those sellers and saw this Califon product on here. I looked it up. I went to the variations and found that it actually is profitable right here. Just going on the website here, we got a 10% off extra sale coupon right here so we can see getting 10 percent off extra on sale takes this from 40 down to 36 and then we can see over on amazon it's buy boxing at about 72 bucks however taking a look on keepa we can see it's more realistically like 73 in terms of where we could price it it's also really really low competition i know that this listing is actually moving for example right here seller amp does have the ip suspected on here however looking on this cuba chart i don't really see history of that where there's a big clip always want to do your due diligence on that not fully sure this will be an auto one gate skew just because i think this is a little bit larger of a brand so i went ahead and found another one right here for you guys in terms of this and one product right here so as you're watching this go ahead and open up these listings and storefront stock off of them and auto one gate these products and then any brand you don't recognize in a seller storefront go ahead and try to auto one gate it real quick and just list one of the products and it's nice and easy here but at 12.48 here we can see nice four dollars profit a piece 34 percent roi the nice thing about walmart too is you can actually use what's called tax exempt on walmart and get the walmart credit card which is pretty helpful as well which juices the roi a little bit more and that's the kind of advanced stuff you'll get into more and more over time so that's an example of how to source profitable auto one gate products 
use the winning products we found in this and the stuff that was close storefront stock from there and you'll be able to find some more brands as well and now let's take a look at a big list of auto ungate products so it's so nice to get a bunch of stuff auto ungated right away when you're a complete beginner so that's why fields of profit and i actually put together a gigantic list of auto ungate products for you that you can go ahead and download completely free at the link in the description all you have to do with these products is copy and paste the ASINs, which are on the list in, try to list them into Sour Central, and some stuff's going to be auto ungated. This is a big list of 1,800 plus SKUs in here. Some easy quick wins are like ColourPop and One Athletic Works from Walmart right here. So definitely go out and take a look at these guys and get some stuff auto ungated. If you're a new seller, that's a huge boost of momentum, especially if you want to go do RA and stuff like that. You can use Seller Up and just request ungates too. Make sure you guys get access to the free auto one gate list down below. Make sure to subscribe for more. Let me know any questions down below in the comments if you have any. And make sure you check out my full free course right here and my full ungating tutorial for big brands and categories that require invoices right here. See you guys in the next one.